Broadcasting from Wilson Area High School, this is the Warrior News, your place to start off the day. Reporting live at 7.44 a.m., the Warrior News starts right now. Good morning, Wilson. Hope that everyone is enjoying the start to another lovely week. Today is Monday, February 12th, 2018. I'm Michael Jablonski. And I'm Brandon Smith. And to start, uh, you, you can take it easy, Brandon, because uh, we have some ins important sports news to cover here. And we're going to start off by talking about Saturday, because Saturday was a great day for anyone who happens to be a Wilson basketball fan. Early in the day, the boys basketball team happened to face Katasakwa in the first round of the Colonial League playoffs. Not a whole lot to say here, really, as the boys took an early lead against Katasakwa and never let up. They defeated Katasakwa 74-53. It was truly a team effort for boys basketball on Saturday, who played their best defense of the season, for sure. Just a few hours later, though, uh, girls basketball would also be uh, in the first round of the league playoffs. They happened to take on none other than Northwestern. The girls trailed early in the first quarter, but they would go on a scoring streak in the second quarter to take a seven-point lead at halftime. The game would be back and forth in the second half, and Northwestern would cut down the Warriors' lead to just one point in the final minutes. But in true Warrior fashion, the girls did get the win here. They stayed strong and took an exciting 70-67 to 67 win. Definitely a fun game for them. And so now the boys will go to Katasakwa tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. to face an undefeated banger team, while the girls will go to Katasakwa on Wednesday at 6 p.m. to get an epic rematch against Notre Dame. And I am asking that everyone who is listening to this broadcast out there go out and support both teams in their matches because, I mean, quite frankly, these are two of the most important games that Wilson basketball has had in the past eight years. And also, I know that Bangor and Notre Dame are going to bring out their fan bases, so I expect nothing less from Wilson. You'll be there, right, Brandon? Of course you will. Of course you will. Good man. Uh, by the way, a shout-out goes out to Wilson's wrestling team who defeated Belvedere 41-33 to on Friday prior to the match wrestling received their medals from districts. But uh, congrats to the wrestling team. Also a great performance from all the winter sports, really. But that does conclude the weekend of sports. Of course, we'll have more on the uh, results from the league semifinals for basketball. But now in non-sports news, all right, so uh, anyone interested in joining this year's track team should attend a brief sign-up meeting on Thursday after school. Okay, so much for non-sports news. But uh, if you cannot attend that meeting, see Mr. Dorenzi, Mr. Meckley, or Mr. Brown, a.k.a. the Big Three. <laughs> the Navy will be in guidance during fourth period today. Also, the Marines will be in um, Wednesday. And uh, our thanks goes out to uh, Student Council. If we can pull up the graphic there. Uh, the Student Council had their annual Disney Day event on Saturday. It is uh, always nice to see the clubs of Wilson contribute to the community, so thanks to Student Council. Also, those are lovely outfits. I'm wondering who the Stormtrooper is, but <laughs> anywho. NHS is holding a fundraiser at Mod's Pizza on Wednesday. You must bring a copy of the NHS made flyer with you. That flyer can be found in your Gmail. Also, NHS members should check their Gmails ASAP. And much like a uh, classic sandwich style, that is a wrap for today. I uh, hope that everyone gets off to a good start on the week, though. Uh, be sure to keep up to date uh, with us via Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, of course. Also, all of these broadcasts can be rewatched on YouTube. But signing off for now, I'm Brandon Smith. I'm Michael Jablonski, and as always, stay classy, Wilson.